Hi guys, I received a message from Muso Second. It says, could you make a video on Grease Monkey scripts, how they work, what they're capable of, etc. Thank you in advance, Muso Second. Um, sorry I didn't answer your first question. I'll probably answer that in a further video. I'm just taking this question for the time being. It's, um, so, firstly, thank you for reminding me of Grease Monkey because I forgot about it and I've, um, I've just installed it again. Now, uh, you'll see that I've got in Firefox... Uh, my Google is black and every time every practically every video I get people ask me how I got Google black now That is through the Firefox add-on called stylish and what you do is you basically go to um, either you go to user styles org and pick out a, uh, a Good style for your website or you can uh, go on to the main page and you right click and say find stars for this page. Now what Stylish does is it uses CSS which is a language that can change the design of a page and it applies that to the page you view. So every time I go onto Google my Google is black. But it only apply it doesn't actually apply it to the actual website, change anything on the server. It just does it client side, so it does it on your computer whenever you view it. So um, that is uh, user styles. Now Grease Monkey works in pretty much the same way apart from it doesn't um, do anything to the style of the well it kind of does it, it doesn't do anything to the style but it applies extra functionality and it does it using JavaScript now obviously you can make your own CSS um, files for the styles of pages but um, with Grease Monkey again you can make your own um, your own functionality with um, JavaScript applying it to the website now um, if in case you don't think JavaScript is very powerful I'm just going to go to images here and I don't know I'm going to search for dog and there is a trick and I will include this in the description uh, as a JavaScript trick it's quite an old trick really I just thought I'd show you it just to show you the power of JavaScript in terms of web pages now this is just a simple maths well I say simple <laughs> this is just a maths equation that someone's done in JavaScript and um, I'll provide the link now. It will have Java space script at the beginning because if obviously if I paste it into um, Yahoo, it will probably change it for you. So uh, make sure you take that space out if you try it. So I'm just going to paste it into here, and you'll see I've got images of dogs. And I'm just going to press enter, and you notice I'm getting a nice, nice little animation here <laughs> of the dogs. So I'm just going to refresh the page, and now we're back to where we were. So uh, that is the power of JavaScript, and you can change several things with uh, JavaScript on a page. Now, uh, Grease Monkey will help you with this, and you know I said that you go to userstyles.org to get get your stylish um, stylish add-on things, you know, the, to get Google Black. You can go to userscripts.org to get your Grease Monkey scripts. And you see userscripts.org, and you see all the update, updated scripts. Now I'm just going to show you an example. YouTube lyrics. This is a very useful um, thing to have. Now they've just recently updated it, and it says extra caution is recommended um, because obviously you might uh, get virus from them or whatever. So YouTube lyrics. I've got nothing installed with Grease Monkey at the moment. Uh, I'm going to install YouTube lyrics. And so now what it does is um, you'll see like on my video, I've got like my name, and this is about the video. Uh, what you can actually do is add a tab using JavaScript, one of those little drop down arrows, and it has lyrics, and you, you can search several things. So um, it says, yeah, new version uh, very soon has been just been released, uh, has resolved conflicts, blah, 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 blah. So uh, I'm just going to click install this script. Now it shows up like a sort of uh, Firefox installer. I'm just going to press install. It says, YouTube lyrics installed successfully. So now I can go onto youtube.com. And I'm going to search my classic song, Britney Spears, Peace of Me. Now, not you, because um, it sort of runs by how well people spell things, I'm just going to go onto this one, and it probably won't find anything, because it searches the title, and usually it, it should be Britney Spears, Peace of Me, but obviously it's got extra bits on the end that people have put on. So I'm just going to pause this, and you can see I now have a lyrics tab on the side. So if I use the drop-down arrow, you'll see it says nothing found. That's because it's trying to search that whole thing here. I'm just going to take this out. Press enter. Loading lyrics. And here we have the lyrics for Britney Spears. Yay! So, and obviously you can change that as well. 
So it's just adding functionality using JavaScript. It's just adding functionality to your pages uh, rather than doing visual styles. So I strongly recommend you get both Stylish and Grease Monkey because then you're kind of customizing the web how you want it and you can add your own functionality to websites like YouTube, Facebook, any different website you can just do. And you can also make your own if you really want to, just say new user script. It doesn't work like uh, users um, like Stylish, unfortunately, where you could just say find styles for this page. It doesn't have fine scripts for this page, it doesn't look like anyway. Um, so you just have to go to the userscripts.org and then find your page. So you can see that I've just added extra functionality to YouTube very simply just by, um, just by installing a script. So I hope this answers your question, Muso Second. That's kind of how it works, it uses JavaScript and um, it's a Firefox add on and it just add fun adds functionality to your web pages. So, thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.